So today I wanted to do a New Year's Eve look. Uh, my hair looks crazy. I know. Trust me. <laughs> um, there's like no taming it and it's like midnight right now. So whatevs, right? This is what I got going on right now. Um, I tried to use mostly drugstore things. Also just used whatever I have in my makeup. So if you don't have something, just use what you got, right? So um, I did use mostly drugstore stuff or very affordable things like ColourPop, make or Makeup Geek, or BH Cosmetics. I think it's BH Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, and also Revlon was the majority um, behind the eye look. I wanted to make it really simple, but very, you know, glitz glam kind of um because yeah it's new year's right so this is just my makeup look on what i'm gonna do for new year's and it's not new year's yet so yeah i wanted to put it out before new year's just in case you guys had some of these things laying around you could do it also i am going to do a voiceover so Everything yeah. will either be listed on the screen or will be listed down below. Um, but yeah. yeah, I hope you guys like this look. And I didn't um, record me putting on the lashes because your girl sucks at putting lashes on. And they still aren't like the best, but whatevs. <laughs> Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the lion's mane is not tamed today, guys. What can I say? So, yeah. Hopefully you guys like this video. <sighs> and there's something else to really say, but yeah. Bye. So for the beginning part of this video or tutorial, I guess you could say I'm not going to do a voiceover because it's pretty self-explanatory for my face makeup. I do show all of the products I use, but I will also put them in the down bar just so you guys can see, I guess. Um, but yeah, not until I get to the eyes makeup will I start to actually do more voiceover and explaining what I am doing and know how I am doing it and all that good stuff, you feel? So, yeah. <laughs> Also, by the way, if you want your foundation to last like all night, I really do recommend the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation that I'm using right now in this video. Most definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, it just stays put forever and I have an oily T-zone. So if you do too, get your hands on it, girl. <laughs> Ew, why did I say it like that? <laughs>
So now I'm going in with two BH Cosmetics shadows. I'm pretty sure they're BH Cosmetics. Um, if you do not have them, then don't go and buy them. It's That's not necessary. Just look at what you have in your makeup and look for a mid-tone brown and a kind of more of a warm brown. And that's what I used. And I really actually did like this outcome. <laughs> it was my first time playing with the all of this. Like This was the first time me actually doing this look. And I liked it. So... Um, good thing I recorded it, right? So, don't go and buy anything. Just use what you have. The only thing that I recommend, obviously, buying is the Revlon to the double-ended thing that I'm going to show later because that's really mostly what this whole look is based on. So, yeah, just use what you have. So I did go ahead and do one eye just to save us a little bit of time because <laughs> that would take forever if I showed both eyes. Um, so that's what I did. Now I'm just going to, you know, knock off all of the um, powder, like the baking powder that we put down. Um, I actually should have left it on longer because of <laughs> I still had the other eye to do, so I don't know why I did that. Anyways, just if you're baking and you're using glitter i recommend baking so um leave it on till you're fully done with your eyes duh stephanie <laughs> So really for this whole makeup look, all you really need is this Revlon Eye Art double-ended thing. I think the name is Topaz Twinkle or Topaz something. Literally, that's really all you need and a matte brown shade for your crease um, You and you can get by with it. I do use a ColourPop um, Birthday Girl Super Shock Shadow thing in a few minutes to just amp it up a little bit put a little bit more glitter um because the glitter on the other end of the revlon thingy kind of just makes your like lid stick and so if you do use the glitter on your lid be careful not to put it near your crease just put it on the lid part um because it does kind of gather into your crease and it makes your lid kind of stick it's just it's weird so that's why i only put it on the, the bottom lash line that you'll see in a few minutes and that's why i used the color pop thing so i could amp it up a little bit so yeah i am taking a note card right now just to kind of you know sharpen that crease or the outer crease up and i'm using sex 
Sexpresso, <laughs> talking too fast, in the outer crease to darken it up. I went a little, little crazy, but just smoke it out however much you want. Dark brown color from, you know, the drugstore will do. Um, like I said, I'm just using what I have at home in my makeup. So, yeah. So now we are going to do a wing. I got this pin in my Ipsy bag and I love it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite now. And you kind of, if you put the glitter from the other end of the Revlon thing, you can't use a pin like this. You'll have to use some kind of liquid if you are going to do eyeliner because it's just jagged and it just looks bad. So you'll have to use liquid. But since I used the ColourPop thing, it worked out good. <laughs> Now I'm taking that gold color on the back of my hand. I will be using an e.l.f. brush. Not sure what it's called, but it's a small e.l.f. brush to use and to put that gold color under on my lower lash line. And then on top of that, put the glitter from the other side of the duo eye art thingy from Revlon on top of that. Um, then I will be putting a waterproof mascara on the lower lash line, or not the lower lash line, the lower lashes. <laughs> if you want, put black liner in your inner rim, but it just really makes my eyes look so much smaller, so I skipped it, but do you boo. On my top lashes, I use the It Cosmetics mascara, um, and I only just did one coat because I just didn't want my lashes to look like powdery. You get what I mean. It's hard to explain, but I'm sure you get what I mean. Um, because I'll be putting the falsies on. And yeah, I'm using Dim USBs by Ardell and using the Duo Dark Tone Glue. I didn't film me putting on my falsies just because I'm not good at putting falsies on yet. So I didn't want to record myself. But you get the hint. You get what I'm doing, right girl? <laughs> so now... Onto the lips, this is the Dose of Colors in Truffle Liquid Lipstick. Of course, use whatever you have. It's just a nice nude liquid lipstick that I have. And I prefer liquid lipsticks because it's going to last longer throughout the night, of course. Because you're going to be drinking, doing you, doing whatever you want. <laughs> um, I'm so weird, oh my goodness. Okay, so if you don't have any liquid lipsticks, I recommend the Wet n Wild Lipsticks. But my favorite is Bare It All because those dry down matte and it just lasts forever on me. So if you don't have it, recommend that. Um, and it's like two bucks or whatever. So yeah, that is the finished look. Not much else there. <laughs> and yeah, I added a little bit of blush but um, didn't film the part because... <laughs> It was just crazy, 12 o'clock at night, but here are some more shots of the makeup, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, hopefully it was affordable, nice, easy, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, bye! -bye.